Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. And then how do you select the automation testing tool and QTP features and then QTP uh, the record and run this we have practiced using the flight application okay audio is low is it good Prakriti now let me check if I plugged in everything correctly. Is it good now? Oh. Hello. This is good, Prakriti? Yes. Okay. Better? Um, okay. Everybody says it is better, you know. Uh, can you please check? Okay. Um. You check whether you have plugged in your um, headphone pins properly into the computer. And then try to increase the audio. Let me see if mine is at the maximum. Yes, mine is maximum anyways. It's much better. Okay. Fine. So record and done. And then we have the flight application over here which we practiced. Alright. After that. <clears throat> the objects and then the type of objects okay and then we um, saw the object repository and the object spy okay and also we saw how to write the comments and then the different kinds of windows in the QTP like we have the expert view and we have the keyword view Then um, active screen, and then we have the data table. Correct. What else? Okay, so these are the main ones. All right. Yes, and also the wait command. Is this what we discussed? Yeah, how to delete the object, how to add, okay, password encoder. Okay, then this is all. Okay, so these are the different um, features of the, yes, and the, also the script analysis. Very good, the script analysis that we did. And then your system util dot run. Okay, did I miss anything? Yes, this is what we discussed. Okay, now in today's session we are going to discuss the actions. Okay. And... Uh, if possible, we will also discuss the parameterization. Okay. So these are the two things we will try to 
discuss. Yes, adding the objects and then deleting the objects. Right, Lavanya. Okay. And yesterday, some of you uh, still had the issues. No problem. Okay. Today, I will uh, look into your system and I will solve. And all the installation issues, whoever had replied to me, I had already forwarded it. Okay. And I think, you know, we have also received the reply, but I didn't look into it. Let me see it quickly. Okay, the se session is scheduled uh, like Sunday, August 4, 8.30 p.m. Eastern. Okay, so you can attend this session. Anyways, it is organized for you. Okay. <clears throat> now, we will discuss regarding the actions and the parameterization. Okay. Sure, Vilasita. We will do it at the end. Okay. Script analysis, Lavanya, do you remember we formulated the entire script? Like we had the windows, I mean the parent dot, name of the class, then the name of the object, right? And then dot, the type of operation. That itself is a, you know, script analysis. Okay. Let's wait till my QTP is open. Okay, the QTP is open. I click on the blank test. Now let's see what is this action. Okay. If you go to the keyword here, you see that we have an action over here. Right. And all the script that we are recording, it gets recorded in the action. Okay. Shilpa, password encoder, you forgot. See here. Tools, password encoder. This one. We write Mercury. Then click on generate. It generates the password. Do you remember? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let me open the file which is already recorded. I go to file then open test and in the test, I will open any existing recording that we have done. So many recordings are there. I will open any one of it. I will open this Priya and then click on OK. Um, yes, Lata. Actually, I have uploaded. One more I have to upload. Yesterday's recording I have to upload. Then I will send you. My voice is breaking. Is there any problem in my audio? Am I breaking? No. Okay. Then uh, who is this? You got to check. Lavanya, you got to check. Okay. Because my audio is clear. Everybody says that. Okay. So do you see here? Okay. Come back now to the session. Do you see here? We have the recorded script that I have opened by name Priya. And if you go to the expert view, you will be able to see this kind of code. Okay. We have the system util.run and then we have the agent name Priya and then the tab key that I pressed, right? So each and every step that I had executed have got recorded over here. Then if you go to the keyword view, you can see the same steps but in the tabular format. Okay? Do you see? The same steps are present in the tabular format over here. The first column is on the item. Second column is on the operation. Third column is on the value and then fourth column here we have the documentation and then we have the comment. Okay. Do you see this one? Fine. So let's try to understand this. If you look at um, this action, I mean the first column that we have, what do you observe here? These are nothing but the list of objects. Okay. Items are nothing but the list of objects like you have the agent name, we have the password. Okay. Flight reservation, date of flight, fly from, all these are objects. Okay. And this is the type of operation that we are performing. For system util.run, it is basically the run operation. The value that we are giving over here, okay, this is your file path. Agent name, we are setting it as Priya. Password, we are setting it as some password over here. Date of flight, we are entering the date. Fly from, we are, you know, entering it as London. Fly to is Frankfurt. Do you see here? This is the value. And then here we have the documentation. Okay, documentation means what? 
these are the steps that we have executed like what is the first step open the c program this one then enter priya in the agent name type the mic tab in the agent name edit box okay click on the okay button these are automatically generated scripts by the qtp or the steps by the qtp last column is the comments okay the comments that we have given in the expert view the same comments are appearing here like login flight reservation these are the comments okay so these are the different columns that are present in the keyword view okay so in the expert view you have the program over here but in the keyword view what do you have you have the columns over here the tabular format is present over here okay now let's see how this keyword view and expert view are related i go to priya over here okay then i remove this i make it as neha okay i have changed the value from priya to neha go to the expert view do you see the change has happened here all right do you see the change has happened now let me change this okay in the expert view instead of neha i will put it as rupa i will remove this neha then i will put it as rupa go to the keyword view do you see the change what does this show you it means that in the back end keyword view and expert view are one and the same they are not different okay they are one and the same only the way they are represented it is different but otherwise they are one and the same okay is it clear everybody okay and now you can see here clearly that all the steps have got recorded under a single action do you see there is something called as action okay we will try to explore more on this so you have the login over here you have the flight reservation so all the steps have got recorded under this single action if you expand you can go on seeing it clear now we will try to work more on this action okay we will try to work more on this action yes ritu i will show you okay what is the advantage of keyword view we will come to it okay there are lot of features that you know are um applicable to this data table this active screen and then you know this um keyword view expert view we will be discovering more and more features from now okay so let's start with the actions okay fine now let me take an example i will take your questions you know after this one first let's discuss it in uh, at a stretch because if you miss the sequence then you will lose the continuity here okay fine so we have tested the flight booking okay we reserved the flight using the qtp then we tested the delete order then we tested the open order okay these are the functionalities update order which i had given you as an assignment so we have the update order over here fax the order is there right so these are the different functionalities that are available in this flight reservation application correct these are the different functionalities that are available now if you have to test all these functionalities okay you got to make one separate qtp file for each one of these okay for the flight reserved one different file for delete order another file open order another qtp file update order another qtp file okay so one functionality will get recorded in one file okay fine now if i have to test this flight reservation don't you think i have to first log in and after i do the reservation i got to log out which is nothing but closing of the application yes or not then while deleting the order okay if i have to test this delete the order of course here also i got to log in i got to log out open order again log in log out update order log in and then log out so many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are you will find them 
on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com On our website h2kinfosys.com you will also find more detailed information on who we are the courses that we offer what each course covers also if you're interested in a demo program please register on our home page on the left hand side just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class the demo class is absolutely free experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information if you still have more questions please feel free to call us call us at 770 Seven 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 one two six nine. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at zero two zero three three seven one seven six one five. You can also email us at training at h two k infosys dot com or h two k infosys at gmail dot com. Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.